Vlogs everyone! We hope you're all doing well because we are sharing with you a recent trip in Dumaguete. So we boarded the Cebu Pacific flight at 3.30pm and reached Cebulan Airport at 5pm. We were immediately picked up by Miss Ria from Colin Travel and Tours where we booked all of our Dumaguete and Sikihor tours. She oriented us regarding our itinerary and dropped us off at Rehive Guest House to rest for one night at 1,095 pesos before checking out the next day and transfer to a new hotel after our Balancha tour. We were picked up at 8.30 a.m. and went straight to the Sulphur Vent Mountain. We highly suggest wearing a face mask here guys, in which you can see we lack thereof. Then, we went to Polang Bato Falls where we admired the beauty of the natural place. We didn't swim yet because we had just taken a bath before the pickup time. We also went to Red Rock Hot Spring where we decided to eat our breakfast. Next is Tierra Alta with stunning views and picturesque surroundings. The highlight of our day was when we went to the Forest Camp Resort. We first ate our delicious lunch then enjoyed swimming in this beautiful Bali vibes vicinity. The property offers numerous spots for taking snaps as we appreciate the enchanted nature. After that, we went to Kataal World War II Museum where Mr. Kataal himself was also present. The last place we went to was the Subida Handcrafted Souvenirs. The shop was very cute which will make you buy everything. We were then dropped off at MY Hotel where we booked for 4 days and 3 nights. This was just a newly opened hotel with an introductory price of just 1,699 pesos per night for a double room with free daily breakfast for two. The next day, we were picked up at 8 a.m. for our Manuyod sandbar and dolphin watching experience. The weather was a bit gloomy so we did not catch the maximum beauty the sandbar has to offer, but still we managed to enjoy the best of it. I availed this inflatable ride with one of the tourists and it was exhilarating and fun. Then we ate our free lunch on the boat and went back to the city at around 1pm. We rested for a while then went out to stroll and found this beautiful yet affordable restaurant called Lantau. Food here was really yummy. Thank you. 
the following day, after we ate our breakfast, we were picked up at 7 a.m. to go to Darwin Port to ride the boat for our Apo Island tour. Here we did swimming, free diving, and snorkeling with turtles. We were also provided a free lunch in the island in which we devoured instantly after diving two sessions. The tour ended at 1pm and we were transported back to the city. My body ached and felt sore so I decided to find the nearest massage services. After the massage, my husband picked me up then we went to the plaza to eat dinner. This ends our Dumaguete tour everyone! We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. By the way, for hassle-free transactions and very accommodating assistance, we highly recommend Colin Travel and Tours. The level of their service and care was way beyond expectations. We'd pick them over and over. For more information about their agency, please check the description box below. Hoping that this video will be a big help for your very own travel to Dumaguete soon. Don't forget to catch our Sikihor video as well. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!